Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another week here at the shop. Uh, going to go over some highlights of uh, JK that we're building today, and we'll kind of take you through that process uh, step by step and show you the before and the after. 2017 JKU, pretty much bone stock. Uh, got some big plans for this Jeep this week. Some parts we're going to be putting on this Jeep. I have a uh, uh, front bumper that was supplied by the customer. Uh, AEV inside bumper winch plate. Got some Rough Country one and a half inch wheel spacers. Rough Country two and a half inch lift kit. Rough Country dual steering stabilizer. Rough Country 9,500 pound synthetic rope winch. Got some LED headlights and fog lights we'll be putting in, uh, wiring those in today. These stock tires aren't going to cut it anymore after the lift kit's installed. So we've got a set of 33 inch amp terrain attack tires that are going to go on these factory 18 inch wheels with a one and a half inch wheel spacers. Should give it a really nice stance. All right, well, let's get started. First modification of the day, went ahead and got the wheels and tires off, gonna get the new 33s mounted up. But uh, while we've got that going, gonna go ahead and do a third brake light delete on the JK. Uh, we live here in Tennessee, and in Tennessee, the state law is must work if present. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and chop that third brake light and it'll give it a lot better look from the back. All right, guys, went ahead and trimmed off the top portion of the Third brake light, it is a cast aluminum uh, piece that goes up. You just cut that off flush uh, and then terminate the wire uh, inside the tailgate. I always put the grommet back in. Uh, went ahead and put a spare tire relocation bracket. Uh, these 18 by 33s aren't going to be that heavy. And uh, it's a budget-friendly alternative to an actual tire carrier. Uh, again, with the 33, not as critical. All right, on to the next modification. All right, next modification, we're going to start on the new LED headlights. Uh, we'll be putting LED fog lights as well, but on a different front bumper. So uh, next time you see the front of this Jeep, it'll look totally different. Putting in LED headlights, LED fog lights, a winch plate, a winch, and a steel AEV front bumper. A uh, quick update, wanted to show this because it'll be covered by the bumper once we do the install, but this is the winch plate that sits down inside uh, that aftermarket bumper. I uh, got the Rough Country winch mocked up inside it right now, getting ready to finalize all of that bolts, um, uh, mounts and everything. But I uh, just wanted to give you a quick shot before I put the bumper on so you would see. Also gonna do a vacuum pump that normally sits right here. I'm gonna do a relocation on that and I'll, I'll show you some video of that here shortly. This is where I relocated the vacuum pump to from the, where it's normally located down inside the front bumper. Located that to the driver's side inner fender. It's up clean out of the weather and uh, still wired and plumbed in the way it was from the factory. Update on the front end. Installed the AEV front bumper. Rough Country 9,500 pound synthetic rope winch a set of LED headlights and fog lights. Went ahead and put the one and a half inch wheel spacers on it as well. Also installed a set of Jeep JL hood latches on this JK. It's a nice clean look and a lot more secure uh, lockdown of the hood. Two and a half inch rough country lift kit, spring shock sway bar links, Dual Steering Stabilizer by Rough Country. All right, guys, got it all finished up. Jeep's got a great stance on it now. Much more aggressive look than stock. Again, got those 33-inch amp terrain attack tires on it. Had those mounted on the factory wheels. Inch and a half wheel spacers. Two and a half inch lift kit from Rough Country. Dual Steering Stabilizer from Rough Country. AEV front bumper, 
Rough Country winch mounted on an AEV winch mount, LED headlights, LED fog lights, did a uh, few little things, some kind of some custom touches, did a spare tire relocation bracket and a third brake light elimination. Clean look and the customer should be very happy. All right, guys, that's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed the build. Uh, we'll see you next Saturday.